What is up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here, and today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to install mods for No Man's Sky. A lot of mods are coming out. They change a lot of cool features if you're a PC player. Unfortunately, this isn't available yet on console and may never be. That is one of the benefits, I guess, for being a PC player. That being said, um, you can add a lot of features and a lot of options. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to Google No Man's Sky Mods. Uh, on your screen, you're going to see the website that I'm using, uh, nomanskymods.com. There's a variety of different ones that you can use if you know that's your, your, your choice. Um, Nexus has some. Either way, uh, you can basically look through and find... Uh, all of the different mods that you might want to do by just clicking view mods and, and searching. Um, I'd recommend going with, you know, ones that have a lot of downloads, a lot of views, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to want to aim for the ones that are packed. Packed basically makes the installation process very simple. Now, some mods have some rules and some things along those lines that you may or may not want to abide by. Like, for instance, this one, you can't uh, use another mod that edits this file. So if you get this mod and another one, then you're not going to be able to use them together. There's going to be a conflict. It might break your, you know, your game, et cetera, et cetera. So what you want to do is just click the download, uh, and that'll download the file to your PC. Uh, I have already done that, and then you're going to extract it. Once you've extracted it, uh, depending on the mod, you might get a lot of options. Now, Low Flight has a ton of different options available for it. You can have just the normal Low Flight. You can have 4X Speed and 2X Speed. We're just going to use the normal flight mode. So you can see we're going to get this underscore mod dot high tech dot low flight dot pack. Um, what you're going to need to do with that is, if you're a Steam user, really easy. You just click on right click. Properties, go to local fly, local files, and then click on Browse Local Files. This is going to open up your No Man's Sky folder, which you can see right here. By default, it's at Program Files, uh, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, No Man's Sky. If you've installed it in a custom directory or if you're on GOG or another service, then you may you just need to find your, your location. You can do that also by right-clicking the shortcut, clicking on Properties, and that will give you the option of where to look. Now, once you get in here, you want to open up game data. Now, one of the things I do recommend is coming in here and deleting all of your shader cache files like this. Uh, you can do that by just uh, clicking on it, pressing Control A, and then delete. Uh, some of the stuff that you may be modifying may change the shader cache stuff. And if it does that, the cache base, or I'm sorry, the cache, I, I don't know why I always say cache. You're just. I'm a crazy redneck. Anyways, the cache doesn't update all the time, and so your game may pull from the cache as opposed to uh, pulling from the files that you want. You want it to regenerate those files, and it, it doesn't hurt your game to delete these. It'll just redo it. So anyways, uh, this is right here in the PC Banks folder. So once again, that is uh, No Man's Sky game data, PC banks. This is where all the packs are located. This is what you are modifying to do your stuff. Uh, you just want to pull that mod folder that you got here. You just want to drag it over. You want to drop in, and you're going to notice that it's got an underscore. That basically means it's going to load first. There may be some mod or uh, load order stuff that you have to deal with at a later point in time. And, you know, if you get really tricky with mods, like if you got like 30 mods in here or something like that, some of them may need to be loaded in a certain order. I'm not very familiar with that yet, so I can't really help you with that. Uh, anyways, once you've done that, that's really all there is to it. If you want to uninstall this mod, you can either just come back in here and delete the mod. So make sure you keep an eye on what you're adding in here. You know, especially if it's something like named like NMS ARC, you know, if it's if it's like NMS ARC, you may have a hard time finding it again. So make sure that it's got, you know, an underscore by it or you know, mod in the name. Or if it's something else, make sure you copy it so you know which one it is. Like take a screenshot with Gaiazo or something, and then you'll know what it is. Anyways, now that's installed, let's go ahead and just fire up the game. All right, so we are in game. Uh, sorry for the cut. We did have a nasty little issue. Hey, hey! We had a nasty little issue with OBS not liking uh, No Man's Sky. So, um, anyways, uh, to find out if the mod worked. Now, for us, we're using the uh, being able to fly close. So, it'd be pretty obvious if, hey, we can go down underwater now. So, that's pretty damn cool. Something that you can only see on the trailer is getting this close to the ground. Now keep in mind, some of these mods are going to make changes to the game. And that means you're going to be able to do things like this. Keep that in mind, you may not want to do that because it hurts your ship. Granted, not that big a deal because, you know, apparently ships are made out of like titanium. 
and, and by titanium, I mean indestructible titanium. So uh, bouncing off the ground may break your immersion if that's your thing. Uh, I went back and un installed the 4X version, which is why I'm able to fly so freaking fast like this down here on the surface, which, like I said, may prove to be uh, kind of challenging if, uh, you know, that's not something you want to do. So keep that in mind. That being said, whoa, as we bounce off the ground and we're just traveling way too fast. You can see the mod clearly works. It's freaking awesome. Um, hopefully this helps you guys install all the mods that you guys would like to have in the game. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful or you enjoyed it, please slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.